Walid Jumblat. Walid Kamal Jumblat Arabic. W. Lid J. N. B. L. T. Born 7 August 1949 is a Lebanese Druze politician and former militia commander who has been leading the Progressive Socialist Party since 1977. Early Life and Education He was born in August 1949, the son of PSB founder Kamal Jumblat. He is the maternal grandson of Emir Shakib Arslan. Walid Jumblat graduated from the American University of Beirut with a bachelor's degree in political science and public administration in 1972. Career Rur. Upon graduation, Jumblat worked as a reporter for an Nahar in Beirut. The BBC describes Jumblat as leader of Lebanon's most powerful Druze clan and heir to a leftist political dynasty based around the Progressive Socialist Party. A Senkanso of the Arab Socialist Ba'ath Party of Lebanon accused Jumblat of abandoning his father's beliefs. On 12 January 1982, he survived a car bomb explosion near his house in Beirut during the Lebanese Civil War. In July 1983, after Emine Jamal became president, Suleiman Frangi, Rashid Karami, and Walid Jumblat formed a Syrian-backed National Salvation front to challenge Jamal's rule and the pact between Lebanon and Israel that was financially supported by the U.S. Jumblat served as Minister of Public Works, Transport and Tourism in the National Unity Cabinet led by then Prime Minister Rashid Karami, which was formed in May 1984. His main ally during the war was a Mal movement's leader, Nabi Buri. He was a supporter of Syria, but following the death of Syrian President Hafez Assad in 2000, he campaigned for Damascus to relinquish control. Jumblat's close links with the Syrian Old Guard alienated him from the new presidency of Bashar al-Assad. This pitted him against then-President Amal Lahoud and the Lebanese Shia party Hezbollah, of which he said, their fighters have done a good job defying and defeating the Israeli army, okay, but the question we ask is where their allegiance goes, to a Lebanese strong central authority or somewhere else. In the 2009 general elections, Jum Blatt won a seat from Shouf as part of the 14 March alliance list. Following issues with Hezbollah's community, his son Tamer Jum Blatt fled to France with his family after multiple death threats which prevented him from joining the local political scene. With the onset of the Syrian civil war, Jumblat and the PSB moved towards an anti-Assad stance. Jumblat has been crucial in negotiations regarding the Syrian Druze during the Syrian civil war and has stated about El Nusra front I cannot classify. Like Western countries, Nusra as terrorist because most of Nusra are Syrians. The regime of Bashar obliged the Syrians to join Nusra. After El Nusr Front allegedly killed 20 Druze villagers in Kalblos on 10 June 2015, Jumblat responded that any inciting rhetoric will not be beneficial, and you should remember that Bashar Assad's policies pushed Syria into this chaos. Well, Jumblat believes that the order to kill his father came from Hafez al-Assad. He said he would rather commit a political suicide than reconcile with his son Bashar al-Assad. In 2014, Walid Jumblat declared himself in favor of the legalization of cannabis in Lebanon. In 2015, he admitted hiding the Swedish spy stig burgling during the early 1990s in a remote place in Lebanon upon the request of Russian authorities. On 4 7 May 2015, Jumblat testified at the special tribunal for Lebanon related to the investigations of the assassination of Rafik Hariri. In May 2017, the trial of four men accused of conspiring to assassinate Walid Jumblat began. Personal Life At the age of 20, Jumblat married an Iranian actress, 10 years his senior. His father did not endorse the marriage, and the two became estranged in 1981. After a divorce and his father's death, Jumblat married Jervet, a Jordanian of Circassian descent. Together they had three children, Tamer, Aslan, and Dahlia. Later, he married Nora al-Sharabati, daughter of Ahmad al-Sharabati. In 2018, his son Tamer W. Jumblat replaced him as a candidate for parliamentary elections. In popular culture and arts, 
Like many political leaders, Jumblatt has been the subject of photography since the late 1970s. The photographer Zayed Anter made a portrait of him using an old expired film, which produced a ghosty effect. The image is said to evoke the danger the Lebanese Druze leader faces after he had criticized Hezbollah and the Syrian government.